He once had the country in his grip, but on Tuesday, Guinea's former dictator was in a cell. Prosecutors sent Musa Dadis Kamara and several other defendants to prison the day before their trial for the massacre and sexual assault of civilians in a football stadium in 2009. The defendants' lawyers say this is a violation of their clients' rights. Today, with tears in our eyes, we witnessed this injustice, which consisted of taking our six clients and taking them to the central prison, where they will surely be held for the duration of the proceedings. Almost a year into Kamara's military coup, tens of thousands of opposition supporters had gathered for a political rally in a stadium in Conakry. Security forces loyal to the head of the junta sealed off the exits before shooting at the crowd and attacking them with knives, machetes and bayonets. The UN estimates over 150 people were killed, a conservative estimate. Hundreds of women were sexually assaulted in attacks that lasted for several days. Survivors have been waiting for over a decade for justice and reparations, all the while suffering stigma from their communities for having been raped. I think we're beginning to get to the truth. Let's hope that it will go well and that the whole of Guinea will learn the truth. Investigators said the abuses committed at the stadium could qualify as crimes against humanity. And as junta leader, Kamara had command responsibility. Kamara maintains his innocence.